Hi, this is Ms. Black with Open Campus Math 099. We are now in Module 9, and this is our second video. We had already discussed how to reduce a rational expression, which is a fraction. But now we're going to go and talk about a different vocabulary word. We're going to talk about what makes our rational expression undefined. And undefined is a very important vocabulary word with fractions. So let's go to the whiteboard and see if we understand this. OK, let's go back to arithmetic. I have two fractions up here. I have 0 divided by 4 and 4 divided by 0. Just by listening, when I read them, they don't sound the same, so they can't give the same answer. We need to go back and understand what this means. When you say 0 divided by 4, you're saying you're starting with nothing, which I can show you physically. I have no money in my hands. I can draw a picture of that by putting a circle that has nothing inside. So there's nothing here. Now, I want to divide that among four, which means I want to share that with four people. So again, if I had no money and I had four kids asking me, can I have some money? Sure, I could take my no money and give it to four of them. They would all get nothing. I could physically show that this way. I have a circle of nothing, and I'm going to divide it among four people, four groups. And they are also are going to get nothing. And as we know, what number in our number system represents nothing? Zero. Now, that is totally different than this expression. This is 4 divided by 0. This says I am starting with 4. So let's draw 4 stars. I am asking you to take those stars and divide them into 0 groups. Now, can that be done? Well, let's take a moment and review. What happens if I said 4 divided by 1? Can we do that? Sure we can. We could take 4 stars and divide it into 1 group. And in that 1 group, there would be 4. Can I do 4 divided by 2? Sure I can. I could take the same 4 stars and divide it into 2 groups and each group would get 2. Can I take 4 stars and divide it by 4? Sure I can. I can have 4 stars, and I can say divide it into 4 separate groups. 1 group, 2 groups, 3 groups, 4 groups, and each would get 1. So you have to understand the concept of division means to break into groups. So now, can you take these 4 stars and divide them into no groups? It's physically impossible. You can't do that. Right now, these four stars sitting here together are one group. So there is no way to divide into zero groups. It cannot be done. If it cannot be done, then we can't put a number to it. There's no number that represents that. So because there's no number that represents it because we can't do the operation, we give it a new word. We say undefined. Now, how are you going to remember this? Because it is very important to understand. In fraction world, you can have a zero in the numerator, but you can't have it in the denominator. There's two ways I can help you remember this. First is by a song. Zero divided by a number is just fine. The value is zero all the time. But a number divided by zero is a mistake. Undefined is what it makes. Another way to remember it is by the cute little words on and no. Zero looks like the letter O. Four is a number. Number begins with the letter N. That spells on. It's on. I have an answer. If we look at this expression, that's a number. That begins with the letter N. A zero looks like the letter O. That spells no. It can't be done. And that's what the word undefined means. Undefined means no. You cannot divide by zero. So if zero is in your denominator, we cannot get an answer. Now, how does this relate to algebra? Well, remember, variables, letters, represent numbers. 
So it's going to be important for us to know what number cannot be in the denominator. So let's go to our class notes and look at example two. I have x plus 1 over x minus 3. Now the directions do not say to reduce. This fraction is in lowest terms. You can't divide it. Remember, this is not connected by multiplication. This is not connected by multiplication. These terms are stuck together. And if you know about factoring, none of your rules of factoring work here. Neither have a GCF, neither expression is a difference of perfect squares, and neither expression is a trinomial. This fraction is in lowest terms. So the directions here say, what value of x makes the fraction undefined? The two key words are, what value of x? Value means you want to know what x is as a number. So I want to know what number can go in x. The second key word is undefined. When you hear undefined, you're only dealing with the denominator. Because we just said, the definition of undefined means what makes the denominator zero. Undefined means the denominator equals zero. So I am asking you, what number can you put in this spot for x that would make that denominator zero? Because if that denominator becomes a zero, then the fraction is called undefined. We don't have any work to do. We can look at this. What do you subtract from 3 that would make 0? You are correct. x would be 3. And that is because 3 minus 3 would be 0. We don't care about the numerator when we do deal with this question. The numerator would be 3 plus 1, which is 4. The denominator is going to be 3 minus 3, which is 0. What do you notice about that fraction? We just learned. That's undefined. And that's what the question is asking. What number do you plug in for x, substitute in for x, that makes your fraction undefined? Okay, let's look at another example in our class notes. Okay, let's look at example 5. It has 7 over 3x minus 4. Again, this is in lowest terms. You can't do any dividing to reduce it. So the question asks, what value of x makes the fraction undefined? So again, when you hear the word undefined, you're just looking at the denominator. And undefined means what makes the denominator equal 0. Well, this one's a little bit harder. Because do you know the number that you would put here, multiply to 3, and then when you subtract 4, you would get 0? Probably not. But that's OK. There's a way to figure this out on paper. When we say what makes the denominator equal 0, if you remember from algebra, an equal symbol is an equation. So we're going to take our denominator, 3x minus 4, we're going to equal it to 0. That is an equation. And if you remember, you're supposed to be able to know how to solve that. Solve means to get the variable isolated, to move the numbers away from the variable x. So we have to move the 3 and the 4. But if you remember, you can only move one at a time. You move the numbers that are furthest away first. The way I think about it, it's like getting naked. You want the x to be isolated all by himself. You don't want any clothes on him. So when you're at the house and you're getting naked, do you take your shoes and socks off first? Or do you take your underwear off first? You take what's furthest away from your body. So the same thing here. We're going to move that 4 that's first away by doing the opposite. We're going to add it. Because I add 4 and I subtract 4, cancel out. That'll leave us 3x on the left, 4 on the right. But x is still not naked. We've got to get the x away from the 3. This is connected by multiply, so we do the opposite. We divide. 3 divided by 3 is 1. But you all know we don't write 1x from the very beginning of the lesson. We just always write x. 4 divided by 3, well, 4 doesn't divide by 3 nicely, so we leave it as an improper fraction. This is the number that if we put in the spot for x, would make our denominator 0. And if our denominator is 0, the fraction is called what? Undefined. I'll prove it to you. If I replace x with this 4 thirds, 3 times 4 thirds, well, we've been doing this all semester. Multiplying fractions is no problem. Top times top, 
bottom times bottom. So 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3. That would be 12 over 3. But what is 12 over 3? Oh, it's 4. And 4 minus 4 would make the 0. So that is the number that makes your fraction undefined. Now, sometimes it's not one number that makes your fraction undefined. It's 2. So we're going to look at one more example in our class notes. And that's example 6. I have 24x over 5x squared minus 10x. The directions say again, what value of x makes the fraction undefined? So they're not asking us to reduce this. They just want to know what makes the denominator equal to 0. Well, first of all, you just can't look at that. You'll be here all day trying to guess what number you put here and what number you put here would make 0. So again, we're going to write an equation. What is the denominator? 5x squared minus 10x. To be undefined, what does it got to equal? 0. Now what you notice that's different is this just isn't an x. This is an x squared. And that little exponent is going to tell you there's not going to be one number that's going to make this undefined. There's going to be two. So every time you see an x squared, there's going to be two answers. What you should also notice is, hey, wait a minute. I can use my factoring skills to break this down. What rule of factoring can I use here? GCF. The GCF is 5x. What that leaves us with is x minus 2. Now, do you see the letter x? Do you see the letter x? There's not one x, there's two. And that's our goal, to find out what x is. So we're going to take this first piece, 5x, set it equal to 0. There's our first equation. We're going to take the second x, set it equal to 0. And now we're not going to get one number that makes the fraction in the fine. We're going to get two. How do you get the x by itself? You do the opposite. You divide by five. We just reviewed. If I have nothing and I divide it among five people, they're all going to get nothing. There's an answer to that. That's zero. How do you get x by itself here? You add two. So now you have two numbers that will make this fraction undefined. I'll prove it to you. If you put zero in both of these spots, so I'm going to erase the x's and put the zero. Why am I putting the zero in parentheses? Because it's side by side another number and it's connected by multiplication. Now, here we go, order of operations. Do you multiply first or do you do the exponent first? You do the exponent. So zero squared, zero times zero is zero. Then zero times five, that's a zero. You do the multiplication. 10 times zero is zero. If you subtract that, what do you get? Zero. So that number makes the denominator zero makes it undefined. The 2 will also do it. So let's replace. Let's substitute in. Instead of the x, we're going to put the 2. Again, order of operations. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 10 times 2 is 20. What's 20 minus 20? 0. So the moral of today's lesson is this new vocabulary word, undefined. What does it mean? It means there's a zero in what part of the fraction? The denominator. You can never have the denominator be zero. So therefore, it's important we figure out an algebra what numbers would make the denominator zero because they can't be part of our answer. Have a great day.